everybody, Ann here, and I am inside today on my comfy chair, sitting next to my awesome tables, drinking my coffee inside because, you know what, it is cold outside. We had some weird weather yesterday and last night too. Um, I was kind of concerned because I heard things blowing around outside. I thought for sure I would go outside. My water catchment system would be totally gone. Um, but really all I saw is the lid to the big blue tub that I planted something in blown off the porch and my water catchment system was completely intact. Both 32 gallon garbage cans are filled with water and the water in them are very clean. One is cleaner than the other. The one that I drilled a little hole in, the first one that I have, um, that still has a little pollen in it but the other one doesn't so I've got the lid over the other one. And I'll be drawing for, from that one to, you know, bring inside and filter. And I am planning a bigger filter build. So I'm trying to kind of think of what kind of container I want to use. I'm not really sure yet. But anyhow, so what am I going to do today? Well, I need to go and make sure that my plants are okay. But wait a second. Hang on a second. I knew something was coming. That means a FedEx. It's okay, girlfriend. Alrighty, let me get out and see what I got today. Here it is, folks. I'm pretty sure I know what it is, so let me open it up and dive right into this package. Please see what it is. It is what I thought it was. Look at this. Okay, let me see if I can get this out with one hand. Well, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Look at here, folks, a 20-pound propane tank with more bubble wrap, but you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull this off, and uh, I'm not going to step on it this time because people uh, reminded me that I could use this to cover up plants if I need to, so I'm going to save it for that purpose. But check it out. It's even got its own little gauge on it, <sighs> and not of them, all of them come with those gauges. So now I've got this. I've got my, uh, what do you call it thingy? <laughs> the hose over there. And um, I'm having trouble getting this off. Woohoo! Flame King! Never run out of propane. The guesswork is out of grilling. Well, I, I don't know that I'll be using it for grilling, but this is awesome. I'm going to see if I can get this filled today. This is going to be so much better than having those little tiny tanks. And really, those little tiny tanks are hard to dispose of. You can't just throw them in the trash. You know, you can't, you know, put them in a fire pit or anything. So this is going to be so cool. Alrighty, I just want to thank the person who sent this. You know who you are. You've opted to remain nameless. And I have been wanting to get one of these. And this is going to be the perfect size because I can lift it. Um, and I'll always be able to lift it probably um, better than those other huge tanks. So, And this will last me a good long while. So thank you so much. That is so cool. I am so grateful. That's going to be a game changer for me for sure. I'm going to put it out on my front porch because you're really not supposed to have those tanks inside. And the hose is long enough for me to have it on my front porch. Bring it in through the window until I can get a little dr a hole drilled. I can drill a hole myself. I've got a hole saw, but I'm not sure I want to do that yet. Um, and it, the hose has the perfect size connector thing to fit to my camp stove. It is also compatible with my buddy heater. So that's going to be absolutely perfect. And I'd also like to thank the two people, additionally, who have donated to my PayPal. There is Dom. Thank you so much, Dom. That was so kind of you. I already sent you an email thanking you. It's a game changer, too. It's going to make a huge difference. I'm going to definitely be able to get my propane tank filled, that's for sure. And I get some other things that I really need. Also, Todd, thank you also for your donation. It means so much to me. And I know I keep repeating this over and over, but it means so much to me that you would think to support me in this way. It put a big smile on my face and is it going to enable me to do some, some different things. Man, I haven't even had enough coffee yet. I need to get some more coffee before I start making these videos. Seriously, because I start stuttering and whatnot. Anyhow, thank you both. And also, thank you 
everybody who's just watching these videos. You know what? You don't have to buy me anything or, or even donate to feel like you're contributing to this channel because just like I've said before, watching the videos, sharing them, voting on them, either up upvote or downvote, it, it doesn't matter. Um, they all count as activity and making comments, you know, talking to other people in the comments section. We're all learning so much from each other. So everybody is just, it, it's amazing. I mean, I'm just looking around right now at the things that have, I've been blessed with and it's just amazing. It, le it lets a huge weight off my shoulders. Anyhow, I think I need to go look at those plants and see if they're dead. Hopefully they're not dead. Please don't be dead. <laughs> Let's take a look at this little planter. Everything is just growing very, very slowly. I've thinned out the base hole a little bit. I will thin it out even more. The cilantro looks like it's getting some secondary leaves on it. Same with this one. This one will have to be thinned out. Uh, I've got uh, a couple oregano going there. A bunch of oregano there. There's peppermint coming up in that one. Quite a few. Let me see this one down here. Oh yeah, lots of peppermint in there. And oh yeah, tons of peppermint in there. I don't know, even know if you can see it. Um... Let's see. Let's just go over here. I don't think there's anything sprouting in those other ones. The two tomato spots are going just fine. Uh, they're trying to grow. Grow some secondary leaves on them. And I'll thin those out once I pick which one is going to be the best. Over here. Oh yeah, they're just fine. They're fine as well. Uh, let's go over here. Yep, this tomato is doing just fine. Uh, those will be thinned out as well. And the beans are doing great. This little deformed one is starting to come up a little bit better. All of those bean plants are doing so good. And this one that just started coming up a... Oh, look, look. Well, let me get over here. There's another bean coming up right in this spot right here see that so this one's starting to grow makes me happy all of the cucumbers are doing great and look at they're starting to get their secondary leaves I guess that's what you call them so they are all doing great I have thinned out the lettuce a little bit and um, I need to thin it out some more probably and oh yeah the spinach this has definitely got to be spinach. Look at that. That's doing better. More leaves are coming up. That one's doing fine. I think that might be another one. I'm not sure. I'm not saying, oh, that might be one. Not sure. Could be grass. Um, so, yeah, that's all doing really well. Let's take a look at the water catchment system. It's doing just fine. I just kept the t-shirt up there to kind of let it, you know, get washed off in the rain. And this shelter stayed down just fine, even despite the crazy wind and rain and hail that we got. So, I don't know. I may cook something on that today. Something like potato soup, because it is cold outside. And I love me some potato soup when it is cold. And, despite the wind... These stayed up. This one seems to be secured just fine on that ledge with that little piece of wood that's coming up to kind of hold it in place. So I don't know if that's going to be the case once I've got a bunch of cucumbers growing on it. Uh, but we'll see. Okay. Now let's go see if there is anything coming up in here. Oh, I know it's wishful thinking. I only planted these a few days ago, so unlikely. Let's see here. What? What do you think, guys? See that? What do you think? That is the red sweet Cuban L peppers. 
All right, I'm not even gonna like disturb the soil around it just in case that is what it is. Could be grass, I don't know. Kinda looks like a pepper. Oh, oh my goodness. Look, that is the banana, yellow banana peppers. Look, I think that is one. I'm just gonna let it do its thing. Is that the only one there? Yep. And let's see. I know, wishful thinking again. There doesn't seem to be any. No, no, that's just a piece of green fuzz of some kind. No, doesn't look like there's anything here. And remember, this is the green peppers. And is it the green peppers? Yeah, green peppers are in here. I think like five or six different spots. And I did plant some basil over here. I wonder if that's coming up yet. No, 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 no. Okay, let's go look way off in the distance between those trees over there where I planted that dill and see if that got destroyed. Ha, I hope not. Hopefully it's dill. All right, let's take a look at that. Well, it looks like at least some of it survived. Let me see that down there. That's specifically what I'm talking about. Not this one. I don't know, maybe these two. Definitely these. These definitely look like they might be dill. Now there were some more over in this area, but it looks like they kind of got pummeled to death. That one's just barely, I don't know. Hopefully it'll come back up. So, I don't know. I do think this is dill, you guys. That mammoth dill. So, I'm just going to leave it be and keep checking it and see if that's what I've got. That's going to be so cool if that's what it is. Unfortunately, my camera went dead while I was out there exploring. Not much else that you, I don't know, you might find it interesting. I, I found a few more of those, those black cut mushrooms, uh, Devil's Urn, I think they are, drew from Dutch something homestead. I need to get the name of his channel right. He said, be watching that area because that's where um, more all mushrooms will crop up, crop up near where these mushrooms are growing. So... I actually had a lot more I wanted to add to this video, but I don't have enough storage on my phone, so I need to get it, like an SD card or whatever. So, you know what? I'm going to end this here. That's all I got for you guys today. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.